reportedly searching for a suspect this morning who they say traded gunfire with an off-duty officer in a busy area for nightlife in northeast Atlanta. Christy Diaz following the latest for us from APD headquarters. Christy, how did this all start? It started as a fight at a gas station and then spilled out into the street. Let's show you some video from the scene we shot earlier in the night. It was at this Exxon gas station on Edgewood Avenue around 11.30 at night when some a group of people got into a fight. It started as an argument and then eventually escalated into physical blows. It moved into the street and around the corner where an APD officer was working an overtime detail. And it, he was watching as one person started shooting, so that officer fired back. From the scene, we could tell at least nine shots were fired, so it really is incredible that nobody was shot. Everybody had left the scene by the time more officers arrived to investigate, so now they're looking at surveillance video and talking to witnesses to find out more. Shiva. And Chrissy, what about the officer that fired his gun? Uh, APD alerted the GBI, but since no one was shot, they will not be investigating this. Uh, right now, they're going through the normal protocol of placing that officer on administrative leave until the investigation is over. Sure. Right. Christy Diaz, thank you. And we'll keep following any new developments on this breaking story for you on air and on 11alive.com. Here's more now on the fourth person shot and killed overnight. Police say the victim is a woman shot to death along Magnolia Street in northwest Atlanta. There are very few details right now. As soon as we learn more, we'll be sure to let you know. These overnight shootings just the latest in a long weekend of violence in the city. The first injuring three people in Buckhead Saturday evening. Police say they believe it started with an argument at a pool party at a nearby apartment complex on Piedmont Road. Police later said that one of the victims was a customer at the nearby Home Depot. All three were taken to the hospital, alert and breathing. Another shooting happening outside Atlanta's Trap Music Museum. Four people injured early yesterday morning. Police say the victims were headed back to their cars when someone in a black Dodge Charter Charger rather started shooting. Three men were shot in a car, and a woman who was not with them was shot in the back. The men were taken to the hospital in stable condition. Police say the woman took an Uber to the hospital. We don't have any information yet on how she's doing. In an effort to address the rise in violence, the Atlanta City Council will consider legislation later today to create a public safety commission, a group of law enforcement and fire officials, community stakeholders, and public safety experts will be asked to give their recommendations for public safety. All right, y'all put these guns down, bro. This ain't no video game, folks. Got to be a better way, bro. A regular nigga TV.